And welcome back to another video. I just got a call from a friend of mine to take a look at his AC system. He doesn't feel any air coming out of the vents or very little air. And he noticed that the piping going into the air handler as well as the condensing unit has frozen up. Usually when you see a frozen pipe or a suction line on your condensing unit and the fan is running inside as well as outside, that's an indication of a low refrigerant charge. If the blower motor inside the air handler is not working to draw air through the evaporator coil, then you can also experience a freezing condition of the evaporator coil as well as the low pressure suction line. First, let me take you outside so you can take a look at the condensing unit. Right here, you can see the low pressure line or suction line is freezing up. As you can see at the air handler, we also have the suction line frozen leaving the unit. You can also hear that the blower motor is working. Now the blower motor is making an unusual sound, so what we're going to do next is open up the panel on the air handler. Okay, you're hearing another air handler to the left of this one that's running. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to open up the panel you see right here. It goes down to there, all the way across the bottom and up the side. That's going to give me full access to the evaporator core. So let me open that panel up so we can take a look at the inside. Covers off and we're looking at the evaporator. It's an A-type. There's the top of it. And there's the bottom of the pan. There was a thin layer of ice over here. When I opened this cover, it all sheeted off and melted. Now what I want to do is I'm going to turn on the blower motor again because I want to make sure that there's adequate airflow going through this evaporator coil. So let me turn on the blower motor and we're going to check it out. Okay, as you can hear, it's very noisy and we have no airflow with the panel removed. That's an indication there's a problem with the blower motor where it makes contact with the squirrel cage. Pull the air through the evaporator coil. And that's more than likely the problem, not a low refrigerant charge. So the next thing I'm going to do is open up the top of this unit right here. Okay, the compartment is completely opened up. And there's our blower motor. And you can see right below it is the evaporator coil. And right away when I reached inside, that entire squirrel cage was loose. Let me see if I can reach in and show you. And you see the whole thing is loose. So what I'm gonna have to do is disconnect the wires and I'm going to slide this blower motor out so I can carefully inspect it to find out why that's separated. Okay, the blower motor has been removed from the housing and let me show you what I found. It's not good. Before I remove the blower motor housing, the circuit breaker was turned off and then I use my capacitor discharge tool which is this 25k resistor I think it's 10 watts and all you do is just touch it between the two terminals wait a few seconds when you're done doing that you take a screwdriver and you just go between the terminals to ensure there's no more charge alright now let me show you what we found the entire cage it was welded all the way through the center. It broke off. Let's take a spin this around and show you a little better. And let's tilt it this way. Tilt it up. You can see the shiny metal where it broke off the inner hub. And right here is a very good look at the mess that we have to deal with. So we're going to take that bolt off right here. And then hopefully that will slide off the shaft and then we can install a new squirrel cage on the motor shaft. Okay guys, we disconnected everything. We're hoping that we can pull the motor side and that whole hub will fit through the diameter that we see right here. We're going to give it a try. Go straight up with that. And hopefully, is that going to clear? It looks awful damn close. Can we angle it? That is close. I think it might get it just right. Kind of figured it was almost the same diameter. Okay, we were able to remove this. It wasn't easy. There was a layer of rust after the hub, 
So what I had to do was actually tap the hub down the shaft first, sand away the rust, and then after the rust was sanded away, applied some lubricant, and then I slid it off the shaft. The motor's good. Now let's take a look at the squirrel cage that's been removed from the blower housing. Almost. So be careful to shoot metal tightening. Oh yeah, you should have no problem getting that out of there now. Just hold it. Yeah. Look at how that thing flared open. What a mess. Yep, alright. Looks like a roof ventilator. <laughs> alright, let's get another one, pop it in, and see if we can get this thing going again. This is the new squirrel cage. I'm gonna be installing that in the blower housing. Now on the new squirrel cage, you can see that it's not welded to the hub. It actually has spots for each one of the fins to slide into, and that prevents what happened to the last one from happening to the new one. Okay, it's installed, ready to slide back into the air handler, nice and smooth. And you can see where the blower motor would slide in, there's a little opening there, and there's an opening back there. Once it slides in, then you secure it with a screw over here and a screw over here. Okay, the blower housing is back inside the air handler. The wiring is connected. The air conditioning system was working just fine, cycling on and off, good cooling. So I shouldn't have to check the refrigerant. So let's power this back up and see if it's fixed. Okay, the system is up and running. It's nice and quiet now. And you can see there's no more freezing over here on the suction line. Just cold, that's about it. Let's go feel the vents to see if we have cold air coming out. Air coming out, nice and cold. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, share, and look over my extensive video playlist for other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.